So I'm going to start in Premiere. Here I have a very short file and like the water, this is, you know, this is a background file, clouds billowing. It's very short. It's six seconds. Um, I could make that even shorter just to make this easier. So I'm going to make it, uh, I'm going to make it three seconds. Actually, let me just type that in. Three seconds. I'm going to put my out point there and I'm going to go Command M to export my media. I want to make sure I'm matching the format I want. So I could do this as a PNG or JPEG. JPEG is better because this is a full color image. Uh, PNG is going to cut back the number of um, colors I have. I could also do it as a TIFF. A TIFF would give me a larger file size, so it's not really necessary. There's no audio here. It's going to be an HD 1080p sequence, and I think that's what my video was. Let me just uh, double check. If I go to sequence, sequence settings, yeah, it is 1920 by 1080, and it's, oh, the time base is actually 29.97. So let's go back here. So Command M, export media. And uh, here, oh, I might as well make it 29.97. It doesn't really matter. I don't want to use all the video images, but we'll have a look. Um, so here, I'm just going to go in and create a new folder for it. I call it clouds and stills. And I am going to go in, I'm going to use maximum render quality and just click on export. These are going to give me a number of stills. Now, once I have the stills, I could entirely go in and import them as individual files into Flash, but um, I could also we look at the clouds here you can see I have a lot of individual images and maybe I want to cut down on the number of images I have to go in and edit so I if I convert them into a Photoshop file I can then go in and import them all at once and to do that I'm going to use a small program that has very few uses and that's Adobe Bridge now in this case, what Adobe has done is they've taken some of the you know, functionality that used to be just kind of built into Photoshop and they've uh, kind of ported it to this external program. So here, I can open my exported water folder and as you can see, like even four seconds of video gives you a lot of images. Now I'm going to be very random here. so. I don't, I want to cut down on the number of images, so I'm going to take every fifth image. Uh, not all of the five images, let me just, sorry, I had shift down instead of command, so hold down command and then just go in and do every fifth image or so. And this is very rough. So if I miscount, it's not a big deal. And again, if you want your video to be super smooth, then it is something where you should probably go in and just import every image. It's going to take a lot longer and animation is time consuming. To do uh, even a short animation can take uh, months or even years. So this is just a kind of a, a faster way to do it. Uh, so I realized I took, um, I went to the water folder rather than the cloud folder. So my, my mistake, let's go back to clouds. And again, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to pick every fifth image. And 
And this you could use if you're building a GIF from a, uh, a video file as well. Um, you could use this to just import the file into Photoshop and maybe we'll do that later as well. Okay, so here we've got the, um, well, just a couple more minutes and we'll have all our video stills in place. So this is, those are all the video stills I want to use here. I'm going to go under Tools, go to Photoshop, and load files into Photoshop layers. And again, uh, you're going to have a much smoother animation if you use all the individual stills, but I'm doing this, uh, you know, I just want this to be relatively quick, so I'm just going to go and take every fifth image. Now again, the more individual frames you have, the smoother the animation, but we're going for speed here. So here I have my clouds. And if I were going to use this to create a GIF within Photoshop, I might as well go over this now. I can see I have all the clouds on individual layers. And if I switch from Essentials to Motion, then I get my timeline down here. And what I want to do is create a frame animation. And here, this just gives me frame one. But what I want to do is, let's undo that. I want to create frames from layers. And here, create, I have the option of creating a new layer for each frame. But what I want to do is make frames from layers. So select that. And now I have a very basic animation that I can export as a GIF. And what you need to remember is that the playback speed in Photoshop is much slower than what it is going to be when it's exported. So this might be a little bit slow here. Uh, it's going to be faster when it's exported, and you can see the delay on each one is zero seconds. We could add a tiny bit of a delay if we wanted, and we could add that all at once by holding down Shift and clicking on all the frames, and then just going here, so maybe a 0.1 second delay. So a little bit slower, but not, you know, not super slow. So that gives me a basic animation. Uh, I'm going to, uh, if I want to export this as a GIF, then I would go File, Export, Save for the Web. And this is going to be a, a relatively large animation. Um, so I'm going to say normally I would probably want to size it down a little bit first. Uh, well, I could also, let's just resize it here. I don't want it to be 0 0.01. I want it to be 50. Uh, actually, 25% is probably going to be better. So, tab out of that. And I'll get a preview here. So just go in and click on Save. I'm going to call it Clouds. Save it in my folder on the desktop. And if I go in and open that in a browser window, I'm going to see the animation. So yes, slow could be smoother, and what I would probably do if I wanted it to kind of loop more smoothly is go in and actually copy those frames and invert them so that it just kind of plays back. So to do that, go in and uh, just, so this is the, the start frame, and this is the end frame. So essentially what I would do, is I want this one to this one. So shift, 
and copy frames and then go to 23 and go to paste frames paste after selection so from 24 to 44 those are my new frames I'm going to select those and what I want to do now is reverse frames so click here reverse frames now I should have a animation where it just kind of goes back and forth. Okay, and there are a number of different ways I can do that loop. And then again, it's just a matter of export, save for the web. And once this comes up, uh, before I made this 25%, uh, I'm going to use the same amount again. And again, you can resize this in Photoshop instead. And you can preview it here. Again, this is going to be slower than it will on export. And I'm just going to click on Save. So Cloud 02. And again, if I want to see it, I need to look at it in a browser.